Number 42, unreasonable result. A mountain 10 kilometers from a person exerts a gravitational force on him equal to 2% of his weight. Calculate the mass of the mountain. All right, so here we have a little picture. Got a mountain, got a person, got a distance 10 kilometers away. We're looking to try to find the mass of the mountain, okay? And they also tell us that um, the mountain exerts a gravitational force on the person equal to 2% of his weight. All right, so what does that look like mathematically? Well, they said that the gravitational force right, is going to equal 2%. So remember, 2% in terms of a decimal, 2.00%. Remember, you move the decimal two places to the left to convert it into the decimal. So this would be the associated decimal. Okay, so um, actually, whoops, one too many, right? Silly, just seeing if you guys pay attention. 0 0.20, all right, this would be the decimal. And um, so that would be the value multiplied now by the person's weight. Okay, now what is the person's weight equal to? Remember, W is equal to mg. So that would mean the force of gravity due to the mountain is equal to 0.0. .0 2 multiplied by the mass of the person times gravity. Okay, so let's stop there. Now, actually, let's just stop there totally. Take care, guys. Good. No, I'm kidding. So um, now what I need to do is I need to figure out, well, where does the force of gravity connect to in one of these formulas? Well, the force of gravity connects right here in this formula, right? So uh, I have the force due to gravity is equal to the gravitational constant multiplied by the mass of one object, multiplied by the mass of another object, all divided by the distance between them squared. So basically, what I can do here now is, I mean, there's a couple of, uh, there's a couple of techniques I can use. It doesn't really matter. Um, but what I'm looking to do is I'm looking to um, combine these two formulas now, okay, in, in order to um, be able to uh, solve for the missing mass. Now, what mass was this? Well, this is the mass of the person, right? That's because it was 2% of their mass, oh, excuse me, of their weight, all right? That's great. So remember, in terms of this formula, one of those masses will be the mass of the person, and the other will be the mass of the, the other object. In this case, it's a mountain. So why don't we do this? Why don't we simply take this value and plug it on in for Fg? All right, because they're both equal. So if I do that, hold on, I'm just changing the color. Now if I do that, it becomes 0 0.0200, the mass of the person times gravity. They might say, well, what's G? Well, we're assuming it's on Earth. I mean, if you look at part B, it says Earth. So we do know the value of G. That will equal then the gravitational constant multiplied by the mass of the person times the mass of the mountain all divided by the distance between them squared. So notice what happens. The mass of the person goes away, and I don't need it. And now I can simplify this, and it looks like I can easily calculate now, right? Because I really do know all the values now. M, M over R squared. So remember, what are we after? We're after finding the mass of the mountain. So just solve this thing now for the mass of the mountain. Bring this denominator value on into the numerator on the left-hand side bring this numerator value on into the denominator on the left-hand side, and you'll have left mm, the mass of the mountain, will equal 0, oops, 0 0.0200 g times r squared all over gravitational constant. So now all we gotta do is plug in, guys. It's very, fairly straightforward from here. So 0 0.0200 times g, which was 9.80, times the radius, it told us 10 kilometers, right? But we need it in meters. So simply add three zeros after the decimal. So that becomes 10,000. Okay, don't forget to square the result. And then simply divide it by the gravitational constant, which we know to be 6.673 times 10 to the minus 11. All right, and when we do that now, that will equal then the mass of the mountain. Let's see what we get. So here we get point two. oops, we get point uh, 0, 0.2 times 9.8 times 10,000 squared, all divided by 6.673 times 10 to the minus 11. And we get 2.94, so 2.9, 2 2.94 times 10 to the uh, 17th, right? Times 10 to the 17th, and that is in kilograms. 
All right, so this would be the mass of the mountain. All right, so now that takes care of letter A. So let me just write A over here. And now let's take a look at letter B. Compare this mountain's mass with that of Earth. Okay, so um, if you recall, what's the mass of the Earth? So I'll put letter B up here. Right? The mass of the Earth, uh, it's something about, it's somewhere around, right? We'll just, we can approximate this. It's a somewhere around 6 times 10 to the 24th, right? Kilograms. So I have a mountain here that is the mass of the mountain is going to be equal to uh, 2.94 times, times 10 to the 17 kilograms. All right, so we're just comparing them. I mean, it looks like the mass of the Earth is uh, seven magnitudes you know, larger than the mass of the mountain. Now, I mean, if you think about how big the Earth is, you know, seven magnitudes there is not a large, I mean, it's a big difference, don't get me wrong, but in terms of the grand scheme of the Earth, it's really uh, not a big difference at all. You know, so if I were to find the fraction here, like let's say I took this value and divided it by this value, all right, that'll tell us essentially the fraction of the mass of the mountain compared to the mass of the Earth. So it'd be 2.94 times 10 to the 17th divided by 6 times 10 to the 24th. And we get a value of about, right, 5. I'm just approximating here. All right, so when we do that division, when I do mm over me, I get about, I should use approximate, signs, I get about 5 times 10 to the negative 8. All right, that's in terms of fraction. All right, so it's not very large, but considering the size of the earth and if you think about what a mountain is on the earth, it's like a pimple right it's like a little pimple on the earth um, it, this is not the size of a pimple a pimple on the earth would be something much 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 smaller in terms of fraction wise all right so um, it's a little bit unreasonable letter c says what's unreasonable well the unreasonable thing is or whatever it's probably not two percent of the person's weight i don't think the mountain would be exerting that much force on the person. It's just, again, it just doesn't make sense. The numbers are not working out nicely. So guys, thanks for tuning in. Please remember to subscribe and uh, look forward to seeing you in the next question. Take care.